So it's the morning of day three on our seven days to die challenge. And it's starting off with a foggy one. Just over in the distance there, there's a bear skulking around. Now, I was planning to start the day by raiding a house over in that direction, see if we can find a cooking pot, but being that that thing's there, I really don't want to mess with it. That will probably wreck us at this stage of the game. But it's now four o'clock, so the ferals will stop running. They'll go back to walking, and I guess... We'll raid this working stiff tools. Now, I want to think about fortifying our position and I don't want to do it at the Parson Gas. A lot of that building is made of wood and very flimsy sort of sheet metal. Let's get rid of this guy, bring it to the door. So, I want to move on. When we spawned in, we spawned in right next to a church and a building site. So I think I want to move back over in that direction. Most of the commercial buildings around here are just a little bit big. Too much for us to bite off if we are going to take over a point of interest. So I'm going to do a mixture of the two. But certainly for the first horde night, we can find something better than where we are. Just use that as a little drop off point. So yeah, this working stiff tools has loads of cement in it, as you can see, cobblestone. And of course, we've now got our iron shovel and grave digger mod, so gathering this stuff is going to be a little bit quicker. Switch to our bats. I'm going to go for a specialization in clubs. Ooh, nice. It's always great to get the headshots in. The iron sledge has come in handy. I like it. It is slow. You need a lot of stamina. But I'm not going to be specking heavy this time. I'm sure I heard something. I haven't actually cleared this building properly yet. Yeah, I definitely hear something walking about. Is it coming from in here? Ah, oh, they're in here. That spooked them. Um, I've just got a repair kit, so that's good. I haven't actually had to craft a repair kit yet. I've managed to find a few out in the world. Oh, okay, just taking a hit there, we'll get outside. Got a little bit more space to swing this. But yeah, the sledgehammer takes a second to swing, but it does have some power behind it. Okay. Just check this back room out as well. We're getting close to when the trader opens, so just check this kitchen out in case it's got a cooking pot. You never know. Ah, coffee. A coffee to start the day. That drinks machine is not working. And yeah, there'll be a load of stuff outside and a way to get on the roof. It's probably where all the main loot is on the, the roof. But I think we'll just clear the front of the shop, perhaps come back here at another time. So yeah, shifting base location. I think that would be a wise move for us and get away from that passing gas. Now the church that we passed does have a crypt in it. That would be perhaps suitable for our first raid or we could build something underground. There's also, I say, a building site next to it as well. I have a building we can get on top of, so we'll have a look. Extend on something from that. Check. 
Gonna loot these toilets. You never know. The elusive toilet pistol. It's toilet paper. I'll grab it all. Got ten nails. Use them, making up some more crates. things and check the till. Sometimes get some dukes back, as we did. Okay. I think we need to head on to Trader Gen, fire off as many of these missions as we can. Yesterday we started off with that buried treasure quest and that put us behind schedule. It was more like 12 o'clock in the afternoon game time before we was able to hand that one in. So 6.30 Let's see if we can get two quests in before the afternoon. And we've got to hand that I one in from yesterday. In. Good work. For that, we can get 60 rounds of 762. As well as getting paid. So a fetch quest. We haven't done a fetch quest yet. We could do one of them. But there is a clear zombies oh, pretty close. Let's get just get this one. I have a protection payment coming up soon. We just need to concentrate on getting these quests fired out. Now I have got a level to put on or a skill point and I'm probably going to have to shove that into engineering. That way we can craft a forge and I'm going to need to get one of them down soon. And I don't really want to put down a forge on top of the roof that we're on. I'd rather just think about getting our base location sorted. Now on top of doing these other missions we have saved up some dukes and Jen has got that fire axe for sale. It's about five and a half thousand or something. Good morning. Wakey wakey. Eggs and bakey. Oh it's gone back to sleep. So I really do want to grab that. If we can get the fire axe, that means going out and getting some wood. Perhaps tomorrow will be a lot easier. Okay, I hear something else. I don't know if it came from outside. Oh, no, it came from just across the counter. Wow. Got a hit there. And I backed into a corner. You've got some loot for us. Oh no. It's the shotgun. It's a level 2 pipe shotgun. I suppose I would scrap it, but we do have some shotgun ammo and Horde Knight. It may be all of the difference. I doubt it though. On the plus side, we did get a mining helmet there. And... That's good, especially for you guys, because when it gets night time, it's really difficult to see on YouTube. Darks never seem to come out too well on YouTube, so I always find that it looks pretty dark. But with the flashlight mod, we can have that on at night, so it's definitely going to make things easier. Okay. And a rad remover mod, which hopefully we're not going to need just yet. But we will need, and that's definitely a good find. We'll attach that to a weapon, and that'll be more effective against the radiated zombies. But I don't expect to see any radiated zombies on our first horde night. And to bring balance, all of the settings are default we could have turned up the XP multiplier which means that of course we would have leveled up quicker but it would have also upped the rate that the zombies leveled up and came at us especially on the horde nights so doing that's kind of like a double-edged sword really we are leveling up a little bit slower In fact, that purple bar is about to turn as you can see level five and the purple bar above the ui has just gone back down so 
technically speaking, if we would have turned our XP multiplier up, we'd be a lot higher level by now. And the horde that comes with us on day five would also be a higher level. Okay, Trader Jan. So, what you got wow, for us? I didn't think you had it in you. Nice, Good 109 job. mil. would love to hurry back soon and i'll have a fetch nice quest it is i haven't done one yet let's just get rid of this stuff back at base okay that's everything so it's in the direction of this bear i can't see it hanging around anymore so i think it might have scarpered off just take it easy we are adhering to the one life only because ordinarily you just respawn back at the sleeping bag but to spice things up a bit and to give this series an ending I figured we would do hardcore I just wanted to last long enough for these to introduce you back into this game maybe it's one you've just not picked up in a while or it's totally new to you, but I've got to say, I've been enjoying it. Still a good survival game. Who doesn't like zombie apocalypse? Okay, so it's one of them houses where you feel that it's just going to cave in before... Oh, <laughs> just like that. Ah, oh, dear. That guy nearly went through the floor there. All we really need to do is grab the package that's in here, bring the supplies back. Um, I just want to grab some wood, but I don't want to wander too far out of this area. Just in case we have to nerd pole our way out of the basement somehow just got a feeling it feels like one of them rickety houses and before i jump down there can i see anything that we can get a sneak shot in on i don't think so but as you see up on the top there on our compass, the package says that it's down. Now we're on the same level as the package, so just got a crawler here. This cupboard looks reasonably clear, so if we get cornered, we can retreat back here. And looks like the package that we need to get is just there. So that's what we needed. That's two missions done from Trader Gem. So we've got a couple of them coming at us. Just keep an eye on that stamina. And we've got our retreat section just there. Oh, the other satisfying headshot. Out of stamina, so... Just going to back off for a second, let that come back up. Sit down. We've managed to make it this far without getting scratched or infected, so that's a good thing. Because really, I haven't come across any antibiotics yet, haven't come across any honey, haven't really been looking for it I suppose to be fair, but that being said, if we got infected it would just be one more thing we need to do as in the words of the great Morpheus, time is always against us. Okay, so let's just get out of here, hand this second quest in, feeling pretty good about this, sort of 20 to 11 and we are already two quests down 
I'm going to take every opportunity to check all of the kitchens. Never know, there can be a cooking pot in the cooker or in the sink. And I really don't want to be doing charred meat. A can of chilli will keep us going. We're not desperate for food, but being that I want to start making some fortifications, some defences. We're going to start digging, we're going to start building, and that will run our food and stamina bar down. Oh, there we go, that guy just fell on the bed, so sit down. Oh, he spun round for us for a headshot as well. It's good of him. Just chilling out here in the cupboard. Okay. Looks like it wants us to go out on the rooftop for the final bit of loot. And I guess we'll check it out. Okay. One more door. Ah, here we go. Main loot section. Something behind there. I just want to be really quick about this. Just close that behind me in case something sneaks up behind me. Craft powered doors and bridges. Bar broil in volume three. Okay. Couple of books that we hadn't read there. Nothing essential. So we managed to do it. Two quests down by 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And it looks like we've got a vulture encircling us here. Oh, chicken. Come here, chicken. Get here. Oh. A little bit more meat, and I did bring our empty jars out with us, so just grabbed some of this ditch water. Would have grabbed it this morning, but that bear was just around this area. Top up, grab some murky water, get that boiling. Them vultures. Is there like two or three of them around me? They're just going to annoy me today. It's quite early for them all to come in. Makes me think that maybe this town is actually a lot bigger than I can see. If only really stayed around this section of it. Yeah, it looks like they're going to hover over our base location. Trader Jen. So let's hand this mission in. in uh, Armour pocket mod. Sure always useful. I do need to put some clothing pocket mods on as well. Haven't gone to that. So we're getting encumbered easy. And... Pff, if you a do clear zombies me, is the closest I, one. Okay, oh, let's get one more down. Okay, so if we get this mission done, then that's three, and we should unlock that bike. So I think this one wants us to go in via this garage here and climb over. The damn vultures are just not going to let up today. And... Nothing really much in here. Okay. See, I knew it. It was just waiting. Yeah, the other two are still over the top of the base area there. So this one wants us to jump into the middle on these meds. Oh, I missed. I'm used to having parkour on a build. Some t stage when I can spare it, I will get level one. There's one still skulking around the top of us. And... Care 
carefully make our way around here. Bird's nest. I do need to make up some more arrows. Just kind of waiting to get that forge. Okay. Looks like we're coming in this way. And it wants us to go through the roof. Doesn't look like this floor is going to cave in, so... I'm sure there's someone behind this. There we go. Oh, he lost his arm on that one. Oh, it's just cans. Pretty much having to scrap everything at the moment. Get a few more pocket mods and we can carry more. Looks like it wants us to drop down in the house this way. So if you follow the lights, it generally points you in the right direction that it wants you to go in. And I like that because it's done not in an obvious way. You know, with stuff all over your HUD. When we're doing these instances or these missions, you can see the red dot up there indicating that there's a zombie. That only happens in the mission instances. We can unlock an ability that does something similar with the wildlife, so that makes it easier to spot. Something comes up there on your compass like that. Dirty glasses, I think that was. Just close this door. That's good, because that's going to give us a plus one to intellect. And where are they? There we are. So plus one to intellect and reduces crafting time. We haven't got any glasses yet that give us a buff, so that's the first set we've come across. Quite useful. I have put that skill point now into engineering so we can craft the forge. I'd just rather not craft the forge at the position we're at now. So, now the thing on the compass is not too cheesy. As you can see, the red dots, they only appear when you see them, although I think that's like three or four of them, sort of, it just triggered them as I came into the room, so there's like three or four appeared on there, it might be five, so I need to get behind these doors and just be careful, this is the final bit, make sure I've got stamina, I could put that chair down and put that in front of the door. Then I'll be able to swing at him, but I think we can manage this. Okay. Close the door. Oh, he got through. And a Tufa with some loot. Just always need to be aware of that stamina. And a cooking pot. Is it a bomb? I'm always cautious. If you can see like a red dot around it. It's a bomb, but I couldn't see one, so fortunately, we live. <laughs> now we can cook or do boiled meat. A couple of schematics here, speakers, oh, and more spear hunter. The game is just telling us that it wants us to wield a spear this time, but I refuse to. We're doing clubs. And pistols and archery. If we can, I want to do it all. Okay. More ammo. Check the sink. Oh, another cooking pot in the sink. So that's another thing that we needed today. Okay. I think that's about it. I think. We'll get out of here, get back to Trader Gen. 
not a bad day's work. Sounds like there might be a couple of them banging on the door, so I think I'll just come out of this boarded window here. Okay. Great, we've definitely made good progress today. Let's go and grab that bike and we'll move positions. Uh, ooh. Okay. Whew. That were close. That dog really could have wrecked us. Fortunately, it's blind, deaf. <laughs> um, I'm just going to give it a wide berth. I'd rather not mess with that at the moment. And he walked right into it. Okay. So this is actually just towards where we spawned in. Carrying loads of stuff at the moment, so we've run out of stamina. But we came in along this road. Just behind us is where the church is. So I'm going to go back up this road. And perhaps we'll go for the church or the building site next to it. The church would be a good holding position. Okay, trader Jen. Good job. Some more 762. We'll take it. And we got 2,000 dukes plus a bicycle. Fantastic. That's going to be a bit of a game changer. We can shift our location. So I want to come back and grab that fire axe as well because we need to gather some wood tomorrow. Let's just sell some of these bits here. And being that we're a level six better. now, we've got a few points to distribute and I'm going to go and stick one of them into advanced engineering. We are going to need to make ourselves a forge and a workbench. So we've got really no choice. We need to stick one into advanced engineering. You can see that our intellect has got a green number two on it. That's because we picked up them nerdy glasses, giving us an extra point in intellect. So for now, we're going to open up blacksmithing. I'll also let us craft things in the forge 20% faster, make glue cheaper. And I'm going to add Affili from Sexy Rexy and Fug as well on Pummel Pete. So that'll let us craft level 3 clubs and we are going to veer down the clubbing route. At the moment we're using our iron sledge but I will swap round to a club eventually. Most importantly, we've got our bike. Okay. So, 20 past 6, I think the plan is we'll head back to base. I'm going to load up them crates or with as much of the important stuff as I have especially some of them building supplies. And we will also come back to Trader Gen. We want to grab that fire axe. We've definitely got enough back in the chest up the top there. So the bike does have a little bit of storage on it. So I'll take advantage of some of them storage slots and We'll condense everything down that we can. Them vultures, I swear. Keep buzzing around me every time I get into my crates. They're just waiting. I know as soon as I get on my bike, they're going to start chasing me. They hate it when you get on your bike. It's like, right, that's it. We've got them now. Let's attack. There. See, you can hear him. Where are you? No. It's going to do this to me all night. It's like a game to these vultures. Look, straight, as soon as I get back on it. Right. Come here. Stupid. <laughs> they do it on purpose. Okay. Trader Jan. Give us that level 5 fire axe. This is going to be really useful, especially going out and gathering some wood. I am so glad to see your face. I get Okay. 
So it's a level four, not a level five, but still really good, especially at this stage of the game. So, and we're going to have to do lots of day. wood chopping tomorrow, especially as we're going to get that base down. We need to start getting ready for day five. So let's swap a couple of things around here. We've got this mining helmet, which I just put on. We'll take the light mod off of it, stick it on our padded helmet. Okay. Just get rid of that and that. Um, let's just buy the rest of that nine mil. Okay. Thanks for the business. So open from dawn to dusk. She doesn't Since actually have we don't have class. any tier two missions, I don't think yet. Come back and check tomorrow. She yeah, she's just got like fetch quest and buried supplies that are quite far away. So forget that now, but there will be a mission coming up which will point us in the direction of the next trader. That'll be useful, but we've done what we needed to do. We can find out where that next trader is, do a few more missions, then we could probably go out and buy some more ammo for Horde Knight. Oh, finally, this other vulture wants to catch up. So this is the road that we spawned in on and you can just see there there's the church. So the church it has a crypt that we'd have to clean out. They are going to go feral soon but she's not good. But there's also this building site and this oil drum just here. And I'm just thinking that one of these just might be better to set up on. Now this here, it's got a little bit of a cobblestone wall. This building's made out of concrete. I mean, we could go and build ourselves something, but this might be a thing. Okay, it's definitely a fixer-upper. <laughs> hey, sit down. This is going to be my new house. Alright, so, yeah, it's missing one wall. But, on the plus side, it does have a hole. <laughs> is that actually alive? Um, no, I think it's dead. Okay. Well, this could be something. Um... We've got a little concrete basement here. Um, got a flashing red light. Already installed. We could fix this wall up. Definitely feeling that we could do something with this. I just want to make some ladders. Definitely reseal this quite easy. here get up on the roof okay so it looks like it's got a steel roof and concrete base so these are really really strong nothing too much to bite off just for a single player as well let's just shove up here so it's small space to defend from this position so I'm definitely more comfortable here than at the pass and gas, that's for sure. So let's get some storage crates down. The one problem with this is the steel roof itself has a lip, so it kind of comes out and away from the concrete. That'll mean that the zombies on Horde Knight will kind of get underneath us and start hitting the wall. So we're going to have to come out with a plan. I think they're metal structures. They're probably not that strong. Yeah, taking over the power plant. We could really do this up here. Got 
the desert on our doorstep. That basement hole there could definitely go on to do something. So, yeah, I think we're going to move into this base location. There's even a little bit of a cobble fence around the outside, so it's a fixer-upper. Okay, right, all storage. Where did you go? Just there. I'll get a couple of these crates down, shift some of our stuff over here. Now, from the roof, I'd have to build something that comes out from this steel top here. So I could get out a couple of frames and actually be able to shoot down on stuff. So yeah, I think we'll make do with this position. It's definitely a lot stronger than the passing gas that we were at. And now that we've got a fire axe, we've got the iron shovel, we'll get a forge down, start producing some metal and iron, some of the things that we need. We have a lot of iron to grab from around here actually, I suspect, so we can use that as well, which is on our doorstep. But gathering resources and fortifying our position is definitely on the agenda for day four. But that's it from me, until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.